Joe Jackson, number nine, the album Body and Soul. Got some soul in this record, too. A little bit of jazz, an electric fellow. Uh, sometimes, uh, but particularly earlier on in the late 70s, early 80s, kind of associated with New Wave. But uh, Joe Jackson, he's just all over the road. Jazz and soul and pop music. And uh, so hey, we got the horns going in this record, too. Almost kind of like a, well, not quite like a Chicago record, but it's got a little bit of that flavor in there. Joe Jackson with uh, You Can't Always Get What You Want on my fantasy playlist. June 4th, 1984. Boy, he's gotten he got into music when he was very young. He's from England. And uh, 11 years old, he took up the violin, studied the oboe at school. But a couple of years later, his parents got him a second-hand piano, started tinkling the ivory, and decided that he wanted to become a composer when he grew up. And later on, by 1972... Well, he got, in the early 70s, he got, well, he was in jazz. He got into jazz. He would, he formed a trio and started playing in, in a pub, playing piano in a pub, and got into progressive rock in the early 70s. One of the bands that he got into, a lot of people got into this band, one of the progressive English bands that never got any airplay here in America, except maybe on the progressive uh, FM rock stations, a group called The Soft Machine. If you go back to the late 60s and early 70s, you might remember The Soft Machine, but they never got really big here in America, except maybe on the college campuses. But uh, Joe Jackson into that group, Soft Machine, 1972, he passed. I don't quite understand, not all that familiar with the British education system, but he took an advanced S-level exam in music. I take it it's big, big time. He passed it. Got him a berth at the Royal Academy of Music in London. And he attended there, or at least was a student at the Royal, Royal Academy of Music for about three years, studying composition, orchestration, his major percussion. Graduated in 1975. Four years later, Look Sharp. Yes, his first his debut album. I read in a book when I was researching a little bit on Joe Jackson. I got one of my rock and roll books. The album, Look Sharp, was recorded in a week and a half. And when I, when I think about Joe Jackson, I always go back to the summer of 1979 when I fell in love with, is she really going out with him? What is she thinking going out with this gorilla? <laughs> and I, I mean, you know, and it was kind of an angry record. But the thing that struck me about that song was the sparseness in the chorus, that, that guitar and him singing. Then it builds to this chorus, the crashing instruments and his, his vocals just soaring in anger and fury and frustration. <laughs> and it, it is... It's definitely a very relatable record. Is she really going out with him? Got as high as number 18, 19, maybe number 15 on Billboard's Hot 100. Remember hearing that record, first heard that record on Kicks 106. And that's the strange thing. I remember when I first heard that record. Back in May or June of 1979 on Kicks 106 from Birmingham, Alabama. Well, let's go to this album, Body and Soul by Joe Jackson. Uh, the, the record... Uh, you can't always get what you want. Or was <laughs> I'm confusing it with the Rolling Stones record. You can't get what you want. Went to number 19 or number 20 here in the States. Top 20 here in the States. Didn't do as well in England, though. Only got as high as number 77 on the British uh, singles charts. And uh, checked out the list of credits of people who sang and who played and who produced the album. One name came out at me. A woman who sang on this album, Body and Soul. A woman named Ellen Foley. She sang some of The Clash on their album Sandinista, and uh, she sang back up on a couple of their tracks, one or two of their tracks on their album Comeback Rock. But Ellen Foley, I always think of Ellen Foley when she sang, oh, it was beautiful, it was brilliant, genius. She sang with Meatloaf. That was her, that meat, that, 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 uh, that duet with Meatloaf, singing with them, and absolutely Brilliant, scintillating paradise by the dashboard light. Remember that one? By Meatloaf? She sang with him. 
She did a fantastic job. She sang in some Broadway plays, too, some off-Broadway stuff as well. Ellen Foley singing on this album, Body and Soul. Maybe she sang back up on this record. That would be something right there. Well, we got Joe Jackson. You can't always get what you want. On my fantasy playlist, June 4th, 1984, coming in at number nine. 